Oh, hello, friends. I'm just having a nap at a very normal angle. Oh, and that's my very normal teacher, Mr. Wiggles, wearing a normal tie, doing a normal little wiggle. Nothing to worry about here. Nothing strange or untoward or... Wait a second, who set that alarm? Where'd Mr. Wiggles go? Was he haunting my dreams? Oh, no, not the sparkling. We all know that when the flower painted begins to sparkle, the horrors begin. Okay, after that truly confounding intro, we are back in Mr. Wiggles' classroom, and I, for one, will not be staying long. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that you're sitting there right now thinking, what is the deal with that wiggling octopus thing, and does it have a plan most nefarious? And the answer, unfortunately, is yes. So job one is to get through this vent and away from Mr. Wiggles, because I am not going to be able to expose his plans if he's standing right there. Mr. Wiggle is not like Mr. Smiley. Okay, I for one do not believe this pro-Mr. Wiggles propaganda. In fact, I think that Mr. Wiggles himself made that graffiti. But my opinion will not be swayed because I know the truth about Mr. Wiggles and Mr. Smiley, and that is that they are both kind of evil. If you are feeling extremely sus on Mr. Wheels, I think you would be smart to follow that instinct. Give this video a thumbs up if you think that we need to not trust a single thing that Mr. Wiggles says. Now, as you probably guessed, Mr. Wiggles is a teacher at my school. No ordinary teacher. Obviously, he is an animated stuffed octopus. Bit unusual. Be careful, Mr. Wiggles is very smart. Here's the thing. Mr. Wiggles might be smart, but he's not very clever. You see, Mr. Wiggles is extremely self-centered. He always has to be the center of attention. He doesn't want people thinking about anything other than him. And now he's working on a top secret experiment to make sure that he is at the front of everyone's minds all the time. Even when you're asleep. Even when you're dreaming. Obviously, an experiment like this is incredibly dangerous and has the potential to destroy the very fabric of reality. Oops. <laughs> Just fell into a hole. So obviously this is extremely concerning. If we don't do something to stop Mr. Wiggles, it might become physically impossible to have a dream about anything other than wiggling. Hey, maybe that's what happened when I was asleep earlier. Maybe it's already too late. And of course, we're back in Mr. Wiggles' classroom. What has he got on the board for us? I lied. Apples don't make me sleepy. Are you ready to go to Mr. Wiggles' school? All right, Mr. Wiggles, I'll play along for now. I will try to find your secret button and oh my gosh, you are huge. You're getting bigger by the minute. It's very concerning. I don't know if Mr. Wiggles is becoming physically larger or if the space that he occupies in my mind is merely expanding. Either way, I'm concerned. I'm gonna jump down this hole. Nothing like a rainbow hole. All right, we've descended into chaos. What's on the board? It's time for PE. Every child should get their daily exercise to grow healthy. Lies, Mr. Wiggles. More lies. I don't believe that you care about the health of the children. Oh, no. Look at this place. It doesn't make any sense. Things are big. Things are small. The pencils are the size of buildings. If Mr. Wiggles has succeeded at making himself the center of the universe, everything else is going to start to break down. The very rules that govern our world are going to cease to exist. Gravity, time, space, how big an apple can grow. The old rules don't apply anymore. Now it's Mr. Wiggles' world, and we're just living in it. Look at those tentacles. He's getting bigger and bigger. We have a big choice ahead of us, my pals. A choice that each one of us is going to have to make. Will we try to defeat Mr. Wiggles and save the world? Or should I go home and eat mac and cheese and watch videos of hamsters driving around in little cars? So make your thoughts known by putting a hamster emoji in the comment section if you think I should go put my feet up and put a world emoji if you think that maybe I should try to save the world. Obviously, these emojis constitute a binding legal contract, which I am now obligated to fulfill. So yeah, go on and vote. The world's in your hands, I guess. In the meantime, I'll just keep running down this ruler and avoiding these safety scissors that are trying to tempt me into the world of arts and crafts. Not now! I've got a mission. For the last time, I am trying to defeat an anthropomorphic stuffed octopus bent on world domination. Why is that so hard to understand? Oh my gosh, the crops down there, they've been replaced by pencils. We can't eat pencils. If we don't do something soon, we're gonna starve. What do we got? It's recess now. Let's play a game. Mr. Wiggles pretending this is just a normal school day when look, the crops have been turned to pencils. The world is turning upside down. But I guess I've got no choice but to play along for now. So sure, Mr. Wiggles, sure, I'll find your shapes. I'll locate these shapes and bring them over to the counter as you so nicely requested. Sure, no problem. No problem at all. It might look like I'm playing this innocent game. Oh wow, a square. I've collected it. But don't be fooled. I am hatching 
a plan, Mr. Wiggles. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Ha ha, a shape, which I have returned to the counter. I'm just an obedient little student, certainly not one that you have to worry about foiling any of your big plans. I mean, I for one am definitely not gonna try to defeat you in an epic boss battle by the end of this video. Me, no, 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 I'm just, I'm just looking for a, for a circle. Maybe a little triangle. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Mr. Wiggles loves a triangle. Now, don't get me wrong, the playground outside of the school is still very, very fun. Like, I can climb up so high. Wonderful. But you cannot deny that there is something strange going on here. Obviously, reality is bending. Mr. Wiggle's experiment is already taking a toll on the world. I mean, look, the sky doesn't even look like real sky. The clouds aren't real clouds. It's, it's like we're inside of a painted box. The only logical conclusion is that Mr. Wiggles has set his plan in motion. Reality is breaking down. Uh oh, what happens inside that classroom? Okay, now that I have brought Mr. Wiggles his precious shapes, he seems to have opened the gate and invited me into yet another classroom and oh my goodness. I like how Mr. Wiggles is going through all of this trouble to make sure that we are at the front of his mind at all times, but literally I could never forget that face, even if I tried to. Anyway, let's see what Mr. Wiggles has planned for class today. All right, you have five questions. Answer with one word or one number. You get three chances. Three plus four is seven. You can answer in the comment section if you want to play along with me. 10 minus eight is two. Correct. Where do kids go to learn? They go to the school or the playground. You can learn on the playground. Planet do humans live on Earth? We live on Earth for now kids turn into when they grow up. Uh, oh my god, tacos. Just kidding. Kidding. It's adults. Oh my gosh, I've graduated. You are no longer a child. Wow, for my first adult choice, I'm gonna jump down this hole. Whee! <gasps> I regret nothing. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. My pals, things are worse than we thought. Time and space and gravity has broken down. Reality is collapsing in on itself and we have to work fast. Do you think there's any chance that we can reason with Mr. Wiggles? Do you think maybe we can just have a talking to? Like, there's no need for all of this. Like, we all do think about him, the normal amount. Like, after all, he is a stuffed octopus that's become sentient and got a job at the local public school. We are going to be thinking about him uh, quite often and, and talking about him even. But for some reason, that's just not enough. He needs to occupy a bigger and bigger space in our minds. He wants us to think of him always. He wants to be in our dreams. But Mr. Wiggles, don't you see what your obsession is doing to the world? This used to be a beautiful green metropolitan area, and now look at it. It's a dystopian wasteland. Like you can't even go on a walk anymore because all of the homework that you've ever had to do in your entire life is flying in your face. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. And he's even bigger. Mr. Wiggles, I'm telling you, this has to end. One way or another, this has to end. And I think it's gotta be soon. If I don't defeat Mr. Wiggles quickly, there might not be any Earth left to save. My destiny is on the other side of this gate. Defeat Mr. Wiggles to escape. Defeat Mr. Wiggles to save the world? Moseying on into the battle arena. I'm calm. I'm confident. Hey, what's with the bubbling? Oh no, I'm so scared. <gasps> Mommy! Okay, that's a pretty big noggin. Is it just me, or is Mr. Wiggles even bigger than he was when we saw him mere seconds ago? All right, battle time. So glad that I finally have a bazooka, but this does introduce an interesting problem, which is what am I even meant to be shooting at? Ah. I don't think he takes damage on the tentacles. <gasps> yep, that's it. You gotta get him in the face. Unless, of course, he gets you with the tentacles. <laughs> It is very hard to keep track of so many tentacles, so I'm just gonna focus on aiming at that blank smile, that terrifying face. I mean, we are going pretty quickly here. Just a few more and we should. Yep, there we go. Goodbye. Good night. Does this mean we save reality? Oh, we open a gate. Time for a little dance I call. I defeated my octopus teacher. Sha. Okay, that's probably plenty of victory dancing. I should probably get out of the battle arena just in case anything else unexpected happens. Do you think I'm going to get any extra credit for saving the known universe? Like, I'd be happy with anything, but if I can make suggestions here, I might say that perhaps I don't have to do PE class for the rest of the year. 
seeing as I have exerted a lot of physical activity here today, what with the, the boss battling and all. Wait, what's this place? I'm a hero. Why are you trapping me in a basement? See you next time, Mr. Wiggles. How incredibly confident of you, Mr. Wiggles, to think that there will be a next time. For starters, there's no way this school is going to give you a good reference. I don't think you'll teach in this town again. Like, imagine that conversation. What was Mr. Wiggles like as a teacher? Like, oh yeah, he had a pretty good command of the classroom, although there was that one unfortunate incident where his self-obsession drew him to collapse space and time. So if you really can't find anyone, then sure, maybe give him another- Oh my gosh, we have a little bit of a problem here. I'm gonna go ahead and say that Mr. Smiley is not happy about my defeat of Mr. Wiggles. Well, not today, Mr. Smiley. We're celebrating. Oh, wow. Okay, we're really celebrating. I can't tell if we're enjoying the fireworks or if we're demolishing the school.